Hi, this is Sue Painter with ConfidentMarketer.com. You can find my website at www.confidentmarketer.com. And today I want to talk a little bit about whether it's really necessary for you to buy all the tools, um, new tools that are coming out for people who are in the online world. It is very um, overwhelming and confusing to a lot of people to sort out all of the different technologies and pieces of software that can help run your business. So for instance, lately in my own newsfeed and in my own uh, mailbox, I've been getting invitations to join the new Kajabi, join the new Samcart, um, don't I really want Entreport, um, I can't even remember all the different things that have come out lately, but there's been uh, probably at least five really big new tools to run the back end of your business. Um, you know, things that are, uh, ClickFunnels has been around for a while, but you know, it keeps being advertised in your newsfeed as well, probably. And I have a lot of people calling me and asking me questions about, well, do I really need this for my business? And in fact, I myself think about, well, this is this, should I move from what I'm currently using to this new solution? Um, do should I drop lead pages and go over here to Samcart? Should I do you know all of these different opportunities that you have to put together the tools that run the back end of your business? I see people making decisions based on bad information, so I thought that I would give you my perspective and my view of how you should look at those tools and really decide whether you need them or not. And really, this came about because <clears throat> I had a client on a call the other day say to me that. She had worked with somebody uh, for an hour and a half's consultation to, um, and that person had tried to convince her that she needed to have specific funnels set up with cross sales and upsells and down sales and so forth for her business. And actually, in my opinion, she really doesn't need that at all. And to invest the twelve, thirteen hundred dollars it would have taken for her to buy that capability and then pay for the staff time as well to put that all together would really have taken her away from the focus that she needs to have currently in her business. <clears throat> so here are some of the guidelines that I would like to give you and that I myself use when I look at new tools. And first of all, let me say that sometimes you really do need new tools. Things come out that are easier and better or things come out and your business has grown and you had been using maybe a free or a really inexpensive solution and maybe now you need to invest in your business you need to have a bigger solution. So, um, so first of all, do you really need what it says that you will do? There, you know, right now to have funnels for everything is the hot thing. Some businesses need funnels. If you're an information product business, if you're an educational business and you're trying to cross sell people, that might make a lot of sense. If you're a boutique coaching firm and you don't really offer much else except your services, you probably don't need a funnel like that in that much of a formal way. You need to have a value ladder, but you don't necessarily need to have software that um, helps you set up all these complicated funnels. So first of all, do you really need that capability? Um, second of all, can you afford it? I don't believe in going into big debt to buy a system. If your business cannot afford the system, that's a sure sign you need to work on sales. Um, third of all, do you have staff who can help you implement that because many of these are complex and you're going to have to have somebody who has expertise in it help you set it up or you're going to start fit, uh, finding that you spend all of your time in front of your computer figuring it out and you are not going to be out doing the servicing of your clients and customers and the sales and the marketing that you need to do. So that is the third thing to think about. And the fourth thing that I really would suggest that you think about is <clears throat> tools are exactly that tools. They do not make up for the fact that you've got to be really clear about who it is you want to serve in your business. You've got to know, you've got to have social proof, and you've got to know how to showcase your expertise correctly. These tools will not take the place of marketing. They are tools to help you market. They will not get it done for you. I talk to people who send me questions on Facebook and other places, and what I'm realizing is they're, they're weak in their marketing and they're weak in learning. They're weak in really understanding who they are and what they offer in their business. They're weak in their pricing and packaging. They're weak in the offers that they make. 
So they can't really tell me succinctly what their who and do what statement is, or they can't really tell me succinctly um, their packaging and pricing. And what they're thinking is that if they go buy all of these different tools, the sexy new tools that are out in the market, that that's going to solve the issue for them. But in fact, you can't have a decent website unless you're focused and clear and aligned in your business. You can't have uh, you can't have funnels all set up in a software program like ClickFunnels, which will do a lot of different things for you, but you still got to have your business outlined and very succinct because it's going to force you to look at what those funnels are. So tools are not the answer to you not really being focused and clear and committed and consistent in your business. It won't take it won't take the place of you being the leader of your business. So those are some of the things I think about when I go off, <clears throat> excuse me, to invest in a new tool. And I just, I see so much noise in the marketplace right now. And I see so much anxiety and confusion about, well, should I buy this? Should I buy it early on while it's cheap? You know, there's that whole fear of missing out thing, the FOMO thing that people talk about. So just think about what is it that's going to do for me? Can I afford it? Can I run it? Can I afford staff to help me run it? Um, can I easily, do I easily have all the pieces in place that I will need to have to drop into this new tool? And probably, um, and you know, do am I really, really clear and focused and aligned about who I am and what my business is and how I offer products and services to other people? Am I clear about that? So I hope that's helpful for you today. This is Sue Painter with ConfidentMarketer.com. I'd like to invite you to go by my website and enter your name and email address and I will send you my 20 ways to build a business without frustration and overwhelm um, little piece. It's an exercise workbook for you. And then on my blog, there's lots and lots of free tips about how to build an online business. Hope that's helpful for you. Until later, bye-bye.